praise the lord hallelujah 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 john 14:1 do not let your hearts be troubled have faith in god and have faith in me amen praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah so my dear friends uh, we are on the you know the fifth week up to easter you know our preparation for pentecost hallelujah so we have been praying and preparing and waiting for this pentecost and this week this thursday we have the ascension of the lord amen praise the lord we will we will uh, we will celebrate the ascension of god jesus to heaven and we know after the ascension in the next 10 days the disciples were in a very intensive preparation and waiting right in the upper room constantly devoting in prayer for this power to come praise the lord hallelujah so the word of god is inviting all of you you and me in the next 10 days thursday and the 10 days you know come into a more intensive prayer and preparation praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus you know today you know how the spirit is working my dear friends you know so beautifully you know whatever the lord has given me to share the word of god we have heard most of them in the praise and worship praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah i was you know uh, holy spirit was inspiring me to talk about one thing that is we required very much for the anointing of the spirit in our lives or for any blessings in our life what we need the most important thing is faith amen hallelujah faith faith is the key to unlock all the blessings of god in our life there is lot of promises the lord wants us to bless us we need one key the key of faith to unlock the blessings of god in our lives amen praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus you know we when we look at it you know people like you know who have received blessings which were humanly impossible in their lives abraham he received which is humanly impossible he and his wife was aged barren in their 70s and hundreds but they believed in the promise unshakingly hoping against hope and then they received the blessing promise amen hallelujah moses by faith in god whom he had full faith in god who he, whom he has called and he did miracles after miracles in front of pharaoh and his and in front of his kingdom miracles after miracle by the power of the holy spirit because of his faith amen and in the new testament we see blessed mother said be it done to me according to your word right it was kind of an a submission to the god's will as also as well as a proclamation of faith in god that god is able to do this un unwill un impossible thing humanly impossible by the power of the holy spirit when the angel said to her you will the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you and she said behold i am the handmaid of the lord i believe in it yes or no and then the power came my dear friends the power came we are not able to you know experience the power we are not able to receive this anointing or we are not able to you know have we are not seeing the work of the holy spirit in our lives because of our unbelief unbelief amen hallelujah hallelujah we are all you know we are here you know we are all here we are like the disciples we are praying we are preparing god is seeing you know i am sure we are all coming here you know i see there are you know people who are coming in the last five weeks because we believe in it right but today the god is asking us to increase our belief 
do you you know, you know that you know you know you have a desire taste and believing in but do you believe that whatever happened in 2000 years ago that the lord the spirit will rest on me and you and we will do miracle in jesus name do you believe in it amen hallelujah let's give a mighty clap to the lord hallelujah for the gift of faith yes my dear friends it is it is possible because jesus is alive holy spirit is alive his promises are for sure for you and me and for the generation to come amen amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so you know the today the word of god is you know john 737 on words we already heard that word of god in the during the praise and worship do you do you remember what is that word of god gospel of john chapter 7 verse 37 onwards rivers of living water praise the lord hallelujah 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 god wants us to you know sing us in the holy spirit like a river amen not like till foot not till like knee not till like chest but covering us amen rivers of living what have you ever went to the river it will it will cover us right yes or no yes and jesus said rivers of living water on the last day of the festival it's a great day today is a great day in this church amen because the bishop bishop is giving confirmation to 50 kids praise the lord i got an opportunity to meet him just before the you know he was vesting in the sacrament sacristy and i told him bishop as you lay the hands we have a small group of people praying here please remember us let us also receive the impart and he said yes amen praise the lord hallelujah so so expect you know that we also get the same anointing confirmation of the sacrament when the bishop when the sacrament is you know celebrated in the church the holy spirit will come in a powerful way praise the lord it is very true you know we have an a confirmation two weeks by one of our east end in you know, our church here my two daughters were receiving i was there when the sacrament was celebrated when the bishop started you know laying the hands on the children we could experience how the power was moving how the spirit was moving amen praise the lord so the spirit is moving there and it will come on us too amen praise the lord hallelujah so we need two things here so jesus said um, he cried out he cried out he is crying out jesus is crying out for you and me to receive the spirit this anointing this rivers of living water hallelujah he said anyone who let anyone who is thirsty come to me amen let anyone who is thirsty come to me the first thing we need to receive this anointing is thirsty we need to have a thirst we need to have a desire for the holy spirit amen hallelujah hallelujah we all have it right that's why we are here right yes or no yes we have the test we god is inviting us to have more test amen so when we have a test for something what we will do we will put aside all those things right other things right we will spend all our energy to get that right yes or no so we need to have more test amen hallelujah thank you jesus we need to give up with all other non important things in the next 10 days we need to constantly pray and ask for this anointing amen hallelujah hallelujah so when we have a test for example if a children have have a test for a toy what he will keep doing a child a, you know child you all have children right the children have a, they want something what they will do keep asking praise the lord we need to keep asking the father that's what jesus said ask Luke 11 Luke 11 9 ask you will shall you will receive it yes seek you will find it knock the door will open for you so every moment every day when you get up ask knock god the father give me the spirit amen ha- hallelujah so if you if you have a test for a new job you will keep on asking right you keep on searching yes or no you need a, you need to have a something new you know you need to get something we need to work we need to acquire it amen we need to gain it like we are gaining money and acquiring wealth and all this more than that we need to ask and work for it praise the lord that's what the god the father is telling us tonight ask desire 
taste for the spirit ask you shall receive it luke 11:13 hallelujah the heavenly father will give how many how much more the spirit to go to those who ask amen luke 11:13 hallelujah oh, yeah. we will read the second part how much more will the heavenly father give the holy spirit to those who ask him so what is jesus is teaching us that we need to ask for the holy spirit amen hallelujah we need to ask for the holy spirit every moment that's why the disciples said what's the disciple constantly devoting in prayer amen when we read in the gospel in the in the acts of the apostles chapter 1 verse 13 onwards after the ascension they were in mount olive they went to jerusalem they went to their house straight to the upper room they didn't stop there in the city for any kind of shopping or for any other things they went to the house went to the upper room they didn't even go to anywhere upper room where they they you know where jesus celebrated the last supper with them in the presence wherever there was a presence of the lord they went to that room and the where the bible says they were constantly devoting themselves in prayer amen praise the lord because they have a taste for this holy spirit amen second they have the taste for this holy spirit so my dear friends we need to ask more amen hallelujah we will come back to the word john 7:38 let anyone who is thirsty come to me and verse 38 and let the one who believes in me drink amen amen hallelujah and as the scripture has said out of the believer's heart shall not flow rivers of living water the second thing we need is faith which we saw we need faith out of believer's heart out of believer's heart ida shall flow rivers of living water praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so my dear friends we need the faith faith in the promise of jesus that she he will pour out the spirit of god on you and me and we will become powerful witness of christ amen hallelujah that is why the disciples had this faith in the promise that's why they went and waited for 10 days we are not waiting we are not waiting because we lack faith hallelujah thank this is a such a great promise my dear friends god jesus has given us that he will give us the spirit of god to all of us we need to believe in his promise amen hallelujah thank you jesus mark mark the gospel of mark chapter 15 verse uh, 25 gospel of Ma- gospel of mark chapter 16 praise the lord uh, uh, 16 verse Uh, 17 17 and these signs will accompany those who believe by using my name they will cast out demons they will speak in new tongues they will pick up snakes in their hands and if they drink they uh, drink any deadly thing it will not hurt them they will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover praise the lord believers there will be signs among the believers you will get the gift of healing from the holy spirit you will get a, you will get the gift of deliverance amen you will get the gift of tongues to those who believe if we believe the holy spirit will work in us in a powerful way praise the lord hallelujah so the, what we need is my dear friends faith believe these things can do happen in our lives also god can use you and me god can use you and me in a powerful way if we believe in the power of the holy spirit in the in the in the promise of christ amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus it is you know the power of the lord is not only worked in the you know people who are you know special people like abraham you know when we talk about abraham moses mother mary we saw oh they are chosen people special people but we heard in the in the during the praise and worship in the in the gospel of mark gospel of mark verse 5 uh, uh, chapter 5 verse 25 onwards 
when jesus was going to the house of jeros there was a lady woman who has been has the problem of bleeding for 12 years she heard about jesus and she thought she believed that even if i touch his garments i will be healed and this woman with faith touched the garment of jesus and the word of god says bible says power came out from jesus and healed that lady that woman that moment amen so these promises this can happen in your people like you and me in our lives if we have the faith amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah so let us praise and worship the lord for a moment for the gift of faith in our lives that we may believe in the promises hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah that's why in the letter to ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 the word of god says by grace you have been saved through the faith in christ jesus hallelujah yes. hallelujah by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not your own doing it is a gift of god amen praise the lord mark 11:24 whatever you ask in prayer believe that believe that whatever you ask ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus we will see one more word of god in the letter to james letter of james chapter 1 verse 5 onwards letter of james chapter 1 verse 5 5 onwards the word of god says bible says if any of you is lacking in wisdom wisdom is a gift of the holy spirit if you lack in the anointing in the gifts of the holy spirit the word of god tells, tells us bible tells us ask god first thing again ask god we need to have the test ask god second thing who gives to ask god who gives to all generously generously and ungrudgingly hallelujah and it will be given you but ask in faith never doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind for the doubter being double minded and unstable in every way must not expect to receive anything from the lord praise the lord hallelujah two things we need to ask and ask with faith with belief and if you are asking with doubt do not expect anything from the lord hallelujah now we got the answer why our prayers are not answered we have faith little bit 50 50 you know if it gets good if don't it's okay <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus we should not have any doubt amen hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah so my dear friends at this moment as we are going to worship the lord in the most blessed sacrament where jesus is coming live and real in a visible sign where we could see him in the in in in, in the eucharist let us ask the lord let us pour out our heart testing with test ask him jesus fill me with your holy spirit lord i believe help my unbelief my dear friends we need only two things jesus said ask ask you shall receive john chapter 3 34 god gives the spirit without measure how much we ask that much we will receive how much faith we will have that much anointing will be in our lives how much we ask that much we will receive how much faith we, with how much faith we ask we will receive that much god gives it the spirit without measure john 3 34 hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so let us like the apostles chapter 1 verse 12 after the ascension they returned to jerusalem from the mount called olivet which is near jerusalem a sabbath days journey away when they had entered the city they went to the room upstairs 
where they were staying. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. God is inviting us. Jesus is inviting us in the next two weeks, ten days, devote ourselves constantly in prayer, asking for the new anointing of the Holy Spirit, a mighty anointing, a nation-shaking anointing, an anointing that turns our life 180 degrees, so that we may be able to powerfully witness the Lord. We may be able to proclaim to the world that Jesus is the Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus.